Good evening, world. It is 7.50, coming to 8 o'clock in the evening, guys. Holy shit, I mean, the time flies by so fast. Yes, I made my last video at 1 o'clock, and now it's 7 hours later, and it's, <laughs> and it's what? It's fucking 8 o'clock. Yeah, man, time flies by so fast when I wake up every day. Obviously. Took two hours, took about two and a half hours to upload my last video. I just finished watching my last, my recent video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and now it's like 8 o'clock. So I can make a nice hour and like 10 minute video. And I'll end, I'll end this video here, guys. Hour and 10 minutes is good enough. Even though it's not an hour and a half, I can make a nice hour and 10 minute video for you guys. And after that, I'll take my shower. And I will, as usual, take my shower, brush my teeth, walk to the store, get my beer and my smokes. Holy shit, I mean, you're obsessed with beer and smokes. Yes. I'm only going to get beer and smokes for a good like... Two more days. Today, three more days. Today, tomorrow, and like the twenty fourth, I'll get beer and smokes until the twenty fourth, and after that, I'll just get smokes, and I'll cut cut it down on the beer. Obviously, I'll get beer and smokes for another maybe three more days. Today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow, and then um, after that, I'll get my 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 smokes. I will get my smokes. I will get my smokes. And when I come back, I'll watch probably watch some Star Wars Theory, Midnight Edge, and like some Overlord DVD on YouTube. And then tomorrow I'll finish Rab Rab's Query walkthrough. I have one part left. I'm on the final part. I can watch Rab Rab's walkthrough tomorrow. Watch his the query walkthrough on his channel. I recommend you guys check out all these guys, man. They have a good channel, good content. Star Wars Theory, you have Overlord DVD, you have Midnight Edge. They're good too. You also have uh what? You have the Rad Brad. He has the best Star Wars walkthroughs on YouTube. Check those guys out. Now you're welcome guys. I'm promoting your channel. That's how fucking nice I am. So I have a good heart. I'm not fucking evil like you guys. Yeah. Yeah. So what is there to talk about? I'm trying to think here. Yeah, my book, Last Over Zane, is looking at crazy, crazy buzz from my book. Crazier than even Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter, Those Are Minds, Game of Thrones, J.R.R. Tolkien's Lord of the Rings, Ryan Sanderson's Way of Kings, crazier buzz than all those authors' books. Look at something crazy for, for Zanus, man. Something crazy for the, uh, what? For the fame of my book. Something crazy, man. That's why I'm going to be a famous author. I'm going to be crowned the fantasy king. There's, there's no book we able to top Zanus after you, after you guys read it. No fantasy novel will be able to top. No fantasy. I'm talking about fantasy. No fantasy novel can top Zanus. Zanus takes the crown. I'm not going to say it's the best book ever written, no, but it's the best fantasy novel ever written, you see what I'm saying? You can't compare fantasy with romance and science fiction, they're different genres. Like, you can't compare Zanus to a Stephen King book. No, man, they're different genres. When you compare a book, you have to compare it in the same genre. Judge it based, judge the book based off its genre category. You don't, like, you know what I'm saying? But you could argue Zanus is the best book ever written, obviously, because no author has kept me hooked the way Ivan has, obviously. But you, when 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 all these nerds say Zanus is the best, they what they mean is it's the best fantasy novel ever written. Yeah, it's, a, it's no fantasy author kept me hooked the way Ivan did. Not even Jared Tolkien. Yeah, Jared Tolkien didn't keep me hooked the way Ivan did. You know what I'm saying? Because what? Even Jared Tolkien didn't keep me hooked the way Ivan did. Yeah, because my book is what a masterpiece. It's a fucking masterpiece. As I go, I go over it a lot. every time I read it. I'm like, holy shit, this book is sick. This is a sick book. Yeah, man. Looking at an amazing sword that I wrote, man. That's why the movie will have crazy, crazier buzz, man. Even crazier buzz because it's, it's, I'm bringing the world. I'm now bringing the world to life. The North, the South, the Eagles, the Crows, the Zanians, Syrians, the Safians, the Walls of Rack, the Bats in the Gilius Caves. I'm bringing all these characters, creatures to life. Eretus, the Double Wolf King. Pacchus, Asatonius, Cassius, 
Merrimus, Papyri, Joe, Eli, Sirius, Cornelius, Livia, Bell, Mary, Elizabeth, Lithius, Baramus, all these characters, Mel, Lal, yeah, Zolf, Cleo, Sebastian, Francis, yeah. Bring all these characters to life, man. In my, in my, in my book, Bo, Mass, Bass, Darius, Morale, Befool, Ephesus, all these characters are bringing to life, yeah, man. Looking at a mask that I wrote. I wrote a fucking masterpiece, guys. A masterpiece. Hence why you guys will be shocked on my book, man. And all you Lord of the Rings nerds, man, on Lord of the Rings Reddit who love Lord. Because Lord of the Rings Reddit, they they're, they're, have cast crazy Lord of the Rings fans. Everything that the, the fans post everything about Lord of the Rings. They post the books. They discuss all these topics about the movies and the books. You know, so Lord of the Rings Reddit has crazy Lord of the Rings fans. Once they read my book, they're going to be crazy Last of the Rings fans. In other words, Zaynus is such a good book that if I... Zaynus is such a good book that if me and Vija were in the public eye, they would... They, know how they have a Lord of the Rings Reddit page? They would have a Last of the Rings Reddit page too. They would have a Last of the Rings Reddit fan page too. Yeah. If, if, if the doors were open on me in the public eye. Yeah. Obviously. But I told you, had the Seth Armies opened the door for me, I never would have written Zaynus. You see what I'm saying? Huh? I never would have written my book Zaynus. No. Had the Stephanie's opened the door for me, I would have made my money in Hollywood. I would have, me and Vijay would have made our money through the Hollywood system, obviously. And we would have made all the companies in Hollywood their billions of dollars. And now that now now that I didn't sell, and, I, and, 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 and the Hollywood companies all miss out on all the billions. Yes. Had you opened the door for me in Hollywood, I would have made all the Hollywood companies their billions. Me and Vijay would have taken a big chunk of the profit, obviously. But they would have, the Hollywood companies would have taken a big chunk of the profit, too. And they would have made their billions. The Hollywood companies would have made their billions, man. The magazine companies would have made their billions off, off me and Vijay's magazines. The radio companies would have made a lot of money on YouTube. Boosting the boosting the economy. Yeah, man. You would have, I would have made these companies a lot of money. And now because of, um, I didn't sell, I'm not a part of Hollywood. Now none of these guys get a piece of my money. Only Amazon gets a piece of my money. Yeah. That's why, that's why what? The Hollywood companies are really going to envy Amazon. Fuck, man. Because Amazon is bigger than Disney, man. Amazon's bigger than Warner Bros. All those companies. It's bigger than all those all those film companies. Amazon's even bigger than Disney comp the Disney company itself. Yeah, Amazon's bigger than even Disney company. It's bigger than the film studio, but it's, it's even bigger than Disney company, man. Amazon generates tens of billions every year. Number one online shopping company, obviously. And yeah, me and Vijay partnered with the Amazon distribution company. Hence why what? Amazon's now taking 40% of, of the pie. The box office and the merch. It's hence why he's, that Disney and all them are gonna give Amazon like dirty ass stairs. Fuck you guys are lucky. You're taking like three point like four billion dollars for every movie on for Ivan's project. Yeah, three something billion dollars you're making for yourself. Riding VJ's products, movie and their merch. Yeah, man, Amazon's making a lot of money, man. And chances are Jeff Bezos will, will pocket a lot of money for himself. He'll, he'll guarantee he's, he's gonna pocket a good probably five hundred million billion for himself. Yeah, I'm gonna off the three billion that that, that 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 we made. I'm gonna pocket a billion for myself, and the rest he puts he pours it towards the company, obviously. Or he might pocket the whole thing for himself. I don't know. He might. It's it's, it's his money. It's his company. Chances are he's gonna put some money into the company. Probably build more warehouses and all that stuff. Hire more employees. Okay, we're gonna have to hire more employees to handle Ivan's order for his Great Escape movie. Hire a few more, maybe a couple hundred more employees or something like that. I don't know what he's going to do with his money. It's none of my business. His money. He can do whatever he wants, what, what he wants with his money, obviously. Yeah, man. And Zaynus will be the number one IP in the entertainment industry. Bigger than even Star Wars. Yep. Zaynus will beat out Star Wars. Will beat out Harry Potter. Ivan, what's the number one IP in the entertainment industry? The number one IP in the entertainment industry is Star Wars. Star Wars is even bigger than Marvel, man. Star Wars has more fans than even Marvel. Star Wars is so popular that they have Star Wars celebration. You, you, you don't have Marvel celebration, no. Star Wars is so popular they have events. They have something called Star Wars celebration where all the Star Wars fans around the world they go to America, and they have this this crazy event, man, at at, at the place, man. Star Wars celebration, yeah. It's, it's, tens of thousands of fans gather at that event for Star Wars celebration. You know what I'm saying? Yet Zayn's will beat out Star Wars. Will be I'll have more will have more fans than even Star Wars itself, man. That's how crazy of a budget looking at for Zaynus. <laughs> Zaynus will have crazier fans than even, than even Star Wars, man. Star Wars has crazy fans, man. In Hollywood. Yeah, it's the number one IP in the entertainment industry. Yeah, man. There's a reason why George Lucas is, is worth $7 million. Because Star Wars is fucking big. Yeah, man. Right? 
Lord of the Rings is also very big, hence why there's a reason why Peter Jackson is worth a billion dollars. Because Lord of the Rings is fucking big. Peter Jackson is the mastermind behind the, 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 the billion dollar empire of Lord of the Rings. But Lord of the Rings is not as big as Star Wars. You see what I'm saying? Harry Potter is bigger than Lord of the Rings. Arguably. Harry Potter is a bit more popular than Lord of the Rings, you can argue. They're, they're, they're pretty much about the same in popularity. You know what? Harry Potter is a bit more popular than, than Lord of the Rings. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why J.K. Rowling is worth what? Worth a lot of money because Harry Potter is popular. There's a reason why the movies gross like a billion dollars on average. And yet Zanes will take out Harry Potter. Yeah, man. Crazier fans than even Harry Potter. Yeah, man. <laughs> you look at something crazy. That's why Amazon's guaranteed going to let me, you know, I recommend you sell a lot of merch. You know what I'm saying? You can sell toys, t-shirts, your posters, you can sell your mugs. You know what I'm saying? You can even sell souvenirs, like sword, a Joe pipe, a tacky sword. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do all that. It's expensive, man. It's cost to sell a, the swords and all that stuff would cost a lot of money. They're gonna cost, they're, they're gonna be pricey. But you guys would still pay for it, obviously. But it's gonna be pricey. But I know Amazon posters and mugs is more than enough for for the merch. I'm not gonna sell T-shirts. I'm not gonna sell toys. It's just more work for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Posters and mugs is more than enough for the merch. That's more than enough. I'm not gonna sell T-shirts. I'm not gonna sell toys. It's just, yeah, but I mean, the cost is covered. All, all we have to do is just price accordingly, and then the, the cost is covered. I know the cost is covered, but I'm not, I don't want it to become crazy. Posters and mugs is enough for the merch, guys. We don't need any more merch. Posters and mugs is enough for Zanus merch. That's more than enough. See what I'm saying? It is more than enough. And you're looking at crazy, crazy buzz, man. For Zanus. For last hope for Zanus. You're looking at crazy, crazy buzz. For last hope for Zanus. Something crazy for the for the buzz of Zanus, man. Something crazy. Look at something crazy for Lasso for Zanus. Something fucking crazy for the buzz, man. Yeah, man. My book my book is gonna do, I don't know, $45 billion in sales. That my book my book sales alone are beat beat out Star Wars and Marvel on, on Harry Potter already. Yeah, Ivan's book sales beats out all the sales of Star Wars combined. Marvel combined. Yeah, man. Look at something crazy. Yeah. Beats out Marvel Comics. It beats out Harry Potter. The only thing my book will not beat out is the Bible and the Quran. The Bible sold like two billion copies worldwide, and the Quran sold like a billion five copies worldwide. So my book won't beat out those religious books. But it's gonna. But for the novels in the novel world, it, it was. It's, it's gonna take the number one spot. It will beat out Harry Potter. As you're looking at, probably eight hundred million people buying my book, man. I'm gonna make my nice like sixteen billion dollars, seventeen, eighteen billion dollars. 14 billion, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 million dollars. Yeah. I'm going to make a lot of money off my book, man. And then once I start Sky Source, I'm now going to build that billion dollar empire, that billion dollar Zayn's empire. I'm going to turn Zayn's into a movie, obviously, into an option. Put 90 million towards it. I'm also going to sell merch, Zayn's merch. I might even sell a Joe pipe. I might sell the pipe, the Joe pipe, and I'll sell like three mugs and like six posters. That's good enough for the merch. Amazon will let me know. Hey, I, mean, I recommend you sell t-shirts. Sell Last of Us t-shirts. Sell toys. I'm like, guys, I'm not going to sell that. It's too much. It's, it's just more stress on you guys. The posters and mugs is good enough. I, I might sell a Joe pipe. I might sell a nice Joe pipe. So all you people around the world who smoke, you can smoke You can smoke the Joe pipe. Or you can just keep it as a souvenir and, and, and have, it, have it in your house. Sell a nice Joe pipe if you want. To make it more interesting. So there. To make it more interesting. Yeah. Yeah, man. Zanes will be the number one IP in the entertainment industry, guys. You're looking at something. Something bigger than Marvel and even Star Wars and Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, man. Except all those, all those brands they sell, they're gonna sell more merch. They have more merch products in mind than than Zanus. Like Marvel, they have toys. Marvel has toys. They have T-shirts. They have comics. Star Wars has toys. They have T-shirts. You know what I'm saying? They have games. You know what I'm saying? They have, they have, they have, they have, they have lightsabers. They sell lightsabers. They have, they have costumes. All these Star Wars costumes. They have. Star Wars has a lot of merchandise, man. 
That's why George Lucas is so rich. Because he sold a lot of different merchandise for his company. Whereas I'm not going to do that. Like I'm, I'm, I'm more simple. I'm going to sell just posters and mugs and that stuff. I'm not going to sell Zayn's costumes and all that stuff. No. It becomes crazy. Posters and mugs is more than enough for the merch. Because I have the keys and, and it's, 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 it's and Zayn's is the biggest IP. Even even though I, I don't have as much merch as Star Wars brand and like Marvel brand, I'm I'm still going to sell more merch in all those all those brands, all those IPs. The Zayn's will be the number one IP in the entertainment industry. Yes, will be the number one IP in the entertainment industry. Will be bigger than, than 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 Star Wars, man. Star Wars is fucking big, and yet Zayn's will beat out Star Wars. <laughs> That's how big Zayn's will be. Yeah, you got my book, my book, obviously, and you also have the movie and the merch. Look at something crazy, man. Hi, 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 hi. What? High amount of fans. Yeah, man. Yep. I'll end this part here in 14 minutes here, guys. And I'll move on to part two. And I'll, I'll make another 10-minute video on, on my final part. And I'll end the video here. And I'll get my beer and my smokes. And go to the store. I have my anxiety, obviously. And I'll get my beer and my smokes. And I'll watch some YouTube. Probably some Star Wars Theory. And maybe Midnight Edge. Watch that. And then once my video gets uploaded, I'll watch my video on YouTube. As usual. Ivan, you really need to, yes, I need my beer and my smokes badly, man. I need my beer and my smokes badly. It is mandatory. I need my beer and my smokes badly. You see what I'm saying? I need it badly, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's why VJ is so proud of me, because because of me, I fucking saved her ass, man. Yeah, man. VJ sold out. She got duped, but I did not get duped. Seth Fami did not dupe me. I forgot to post you the game. They, you cannot dupe me. I know I get a garbage wife and you guys will win the game if I sold out. And Seth Fami will take all my money. And why would I sell to you when God when God gave me my own keys? I can own my own door. Why the hell would I sell to you when I can own my own door? Okay, Ivan, right, if you want if you want if you if you want to get your financial control and and, and, and supposedly take my money off you want to I, I if you want to make your 18 billion, your 14 billion dollars off your book, your 20 billion dollars off your book, and have your financial control. And have your fresh wife all to yourself and the glory and beauty young forever and start that sky source company bigger than all the Hollywood companies and make your Zanes movie for nine for a billion dollars, obviously. Whereas for uh, for us, whereas if you're in Hollywood, we're only gonna put like two hundred million towards Zanus. If you wanna do that, Ivan, you gotta you gotta suffer death for it. You gotta die for it, Ivan. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna ask you this question. Who on this earth gave you the prerogative of thinking about control relation when she's not your wife and not your husband? Uh no one, Ivan, just envious. Yeah, so because you're envy, you think you have a control relationship when you don't. She's not your wife, I'm not your husband, but you guys are crazy people, obviously. You're fucking crazy people, obviously. I don't know, I cry my eyes out, I choose death, I'm like, I'm, no way am I fucking selling to you. No way am I gonna put put blood, my blood, sweat, and tears into my book. After what you did to me, after lo oh, locking all doors on me, hacking my laptop, putting me in that hospital for 40 days. You know what I'm saying? Locking all doors on me, no way in hell am I gonna let you take my fucking role, my blood, sweat, and tears. And I'm brave and I choose death. But I know dying sucks, obviously. You know, and now, and once I now, once I now, now once I now know my fate, that I'm gonna die. I'm gonna cry heavy tears because I now know death is my fate. It's a horrific thought. It's a, it's, a, it's a horrific thought knowing you're gonna die, man. You put me through that pain, but I also know if I don't die, Victoria Justice, the, my crazy wife, will never stop, man. She's gonna cry every night, and you you put me in a pickle, obviously. That's why you guys, yeah, I, you have the options to run off if you want. I'm like, okay, I'm going to ask this question. Who on this earth gave you the prerogative to think you have control in a relationship when she's not your wife and not your husband? You don't have control in a relationship world. You just think you do because you're crazy people, obviously. And so all I'm going to do is just get this for you over with and save my wife. And once I'm king, screw me, I'm taking off the throne with her and I'm peacing out with her. And you're left behind. You're not saved. And she trapped me with, that, with, 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 with a heavy choice, man. Hence why the gatekeepers are smart. Yeah, we have to crush Ivan. Crush him and have him what? Trap, go to the extreme and trap this innocent man with death. That way we can dupe him and have him share with all of us. And he gets a garbage leftover trashy work. Because VJ's garbage. Stinky, fishy sex. VJ, if Ivan gets fishy, rotten sex, like we get rotten sex. And VJ sees hell forever. She cries every night. And we, he, they're constantly sharing their relationships destroyed. Yeah. The gatekeepers take all their money. We see them every night when we dream. We're saved. Because you guys want your full cake. Yeah. And that's why I'm not going to do my that. I'm choosing death. Not, even though I know dying sucks. All I have to do is just wake up one second later and I get it over with. 
So I'm in that room and I wake up one second later, man. Literally one second later, I wake up and I get death over with. But I know dying sucks. The, the, the scariest part of death is before you die. Because when, once you die, you're gone, obviously. You're unconscious. The scariest part of death is before you die. That's the scariest part of death. Before the, 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 the moment before you suffer death. That's the scariest part. And I'm brave and I choose death. And the, the game is, okay, Ivan, you made your choice. If you want to fuck with my money, you got to suffer death for it and all that stuff. And I made my choice. And I choose death. And once I make that choice, I'm going to break down in tears, man. Heavy tears, man. It's a crushing thought knowing you're going to suffer death, man. Oh, my God. This is a fucking nightmare on earth. Oh, my God. I'm going to fucking die for my wife. Yeah, man. All I'm going to think about is that day. Same time I know I have to have sex with my stepmother. As I'm going to cry heavy tears. All I now know, yeah, the, 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 the gatekeepers are not, I'm no longer playing any games. If I want my wife fresh myself, I have to have sex with my stepmother. Yeah, man. And the day happens, my wife is, uh, my, 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 my stepmother is like, she come to my room, Ivan. And she takes off all her clothes. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys are fucking... Oh, my God, man. You just, it just balls my mind. I almost like, whatever you want to do to me, do it quickly. I'm just saying, once I pay this fee, you guys got your mask and you got your bullshit sacks. Now, leave me alone and live my life, man. And she takes off all her clothes. I'm like, oh, my God. This is fucked up, man. My stepmother wants to have sex with me. This is crazy. Yeah, man. Because you, you, you guys are crazy people, obviously. You know, I'm crying. I'm like, I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? My mother's like, you have to do it. If you don't do it, you, you'll never see your wife because she's fucking crazy, obviously. You think she thinks you have to a relationship when you don't, when, when she doesn't, obviously. And I, I'm, and she, oh man, and she takes her clothes and I, 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 she give it to me. And I fucking have sex with her. Oh my god. And the moment I have sex with her, I'm never going to be the same again because I just fucked my stepmother, man. It's fucked up. Yeah, man. You just had, you just put your peas in your stepmother's vagina. Yeah, everything is fucked up. You fucked up my mind psychologically, obviously. You see what I'm saying here? Hence why, when I, hence why what, when I say I truly suffered in my life, I really did truly suffer in my, in my life, man. After me finding about the mess, I found out after I suffered my stepmother too. I have to be a porn star and I have to suffer death. It's too much for the mind to handle. Hence why once I come from death, my father will obviously refresh my mind. Because, because if he does not refresh my mind, I will have PTSD, man. I just had sex with my stepmother. I was a porn star and I what? I suffered death. And if you come back from death, if, you, if your mind is not refreshed, you can have PTSD. I can, I can suffer post-traumatic stress. That's why God will obviously refresh my mind. And I come back to life a new man, a brand new man, a refreshed mind, a brand new man. You know what I'm saying? I come back a brand new man, obviously. Yeah. Brand new man. Because when, when they kill me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be bleeding. I'm going to have, I don't know, a crushed skull. When I come back to life, the regeneration takes place. I come back a new man. A new new face, everything, you know, it's everything. I don't know what they're gonna do to me. They're gonna kill me, obviously. Picture something like something like Passion of Christ, most likely. They're gonna kill me and what? And I come back to life a brand new man. Remember how in Passion of Christ he came back a brand new man with his beard, he had his his his, his brown eyes were glowing. Think something like that for me. I come back to life a brand new man. And because because I died, VJ is, is now brand new too. <laughs> VJ gets something supernaturally happens because VJ is my spirit. She's connected to me. Something supernaturally happens. VJ gets her healing in, in her in, in 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 her private area. Obviously, VJ gets her 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 healing in her private area. The, the the diseases are now are now gone, and VJ is now fresh. Oh, she's no longer garbage. She's now fresh, and that very night when she goes to bed, she will now see the light, and the crying will stop. The crying will now cease. So that's why that very day when I come back from death. I'm going to what? I'm going to uh, celebrate because I know no, the crying will now stop. I'm going to go to bed and I'll no longer hear that annoying background noise of the crying. Oh my, oh my God, she finally stopped, man. The crying stopped. Yeah. Because VJ is a crazy woman. As long as she sees hell, she's never going to sleep. She's going to constantly cry every night, man. Because she's crazy. I, that's why I put the rule don't touch her, obviously. Because VJ is a crazy woman. See what I'm saying, huh? VJ is a crazy woman. That's why I put the rule don't touch her. And you guys touch her anyways, because you guys are all, oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. And VJ will be shocked with my book when I meet her in Los Angeles. Ivan, you, Ivan, can I ask you a question? Sure. Go for it, I'm saying. Ivan, did you write this book all on your own? I'm like, yeah, I wrote it all on my own. I'm like, holy shit, Ivan, this is a masterpiece. This is an amazing story, Ivan. 
this is I was so entertained by your characters and your story, Eritat and Lithium Bell. I was so entertained by your story, Ivan. This is a masterpiece. You know, holy shit, Ivan, you did it, man. You, you when the doors are locked on you, you pulled it off, you wrote your own masterpiece, you wrote your own book on your Sabrell's channel. You didn't sell to the gatekeepers, and now you you, you released your book on Lulu and you made billions for us. Yeah. I made a nice, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 billion dollars for VJ. 20 billion dollars for VJ. I mean VJ. Yeah. That's why she's gonna ask me, are you gonna share that money live? And I'm like, yeah, don't worry, relax. When I go to Vancouver, I'm gonna share it with you, you know what I'm saying? Relax, man. Relax, sweetie, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna give me that evil look. <laughs> Ivan, you're gonna share that money with me, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, re relax, Victoria. When we go to when we go to what? Vancouver, I'll register for our Scotia Bank debit card and visa, and you can, we'll be sharing the account. Because VJ wants a piece of the pie, because she 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 knows with that money she can get her nice cars, she can get her nice clothes, her nice shoes, her nice perfume, her nice makeup. Her nice jackets. Don't say she can get. She you knows then. We can go out to nice restaurants. She can get her nice food. Her nice alcohol. We didn't know she can get. She, she can say all these nice sweets. She knows with that, with this money, we can do all this, all this good stuff. She knows I can start Sky Source. We can start our own film studio, bigger than even the Hollywood companies. Yeah, yeah. Fourteen million dollars in your bank. We can easily start our own Sky Source entertainment company. Put a hundred million dollars of our own money into. Okay, VJ, we'll put a hundred million, one twenty million dollars of our own money into building all the buildings. One hundred million dollars is good enough. Put one hundred million towards building all the buildings. Seventy, eighty, a hundred million towards building all the buildings on our on our land, for our sky source company, building our studio office, everything. And we put nine, eighty million towards the movie for the movie budget. And we don't touch the budget. The money used to build the buildings, we have to pay with our personal account. We can't touch the business account; otherwise, it'll affect the budget. We have to pay with our personal account. Hence, why no one's getting a piece of my royalties. As I'm, I'm with Peter Jackson's salary, Mel Gibson's salary, they're looking at almost one point two billion dollars. Going towards the movie, man. Hence why me and VJ need to make our money back, which we will. Hence why no one's getting a piece in our, of our royalties. Hence why after saying this, I'm never making a movie for nine eighty million dollars ever again. Because we're going over a billion dollars on the budget, man. Peter Jackson's salary, $83 million. He's making his, I don't know, 105 110 New Zealand money. And Mel Gibson's $54 million. And you also have John Favreau and Dave Lowney's bonus. That's another, like, $49 million, 50, 50 million bucks. Yeah, man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, you're like we're going over like 1.1, 1.15 billion dollars. Yeah, that's why no one's getting a piece of my royalties. As me and Luigi need to make our money back, we need to get a return back, which we will. We'll make a nice like I don't know, three billion, three point three billion in profit. We'll make four billion dollars off the movies and posters. We'll make our money back, me and VJ. Yeah, we need to put a lot of money towards the studio office. Before I said five million, no man, me and VJ are gonna. It's gonna cost me VJ like. A hundred million dollars for that project, man. You're looking at a big project. We're building all the buildings. It's a, it's a, the studio office alone, if you want to pimp it out fully, that's going to cost you 20 plus million. 25 million to build that building. And you also have the special effects team building. Another 20 million I'm going to put towards that building. It's going to be a big building. That can, with 40, all these, all these apartments, the sound apartment, the sound mixing department, the, the, the VFX RS room, the editing room, the cost. It all costs money, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I also have to build my docking area for the yacht because chances are my land will be night will be right next to the water. And so I need to build my I need to build my what? My my, my docking area for my yacht. Near the ocean, obviously. I also have to build my, my freeway area for the jet. That can cost another that's another like twenty million dollars to build that freeway area for the jet for the two jets. Where the jet lands, that costs us money, man. Twenty five million, yeah man. It costs us money. You also have electricity cost. If you build your buildings, you have to pay for the, you have to pay the electricity bill, the cost on stuff. Yeah, electricity, all that stuff, costs money. I'm gonna build a nice docking area where where, 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 where I'll, park, I'll park my yacht at, uh, at the at the at, at, uh, in the dock area during the summer and fall. In the winter time, I'll I'll build a storage room where they where they store the yacht. And they store the yacht in there. In the summertime, I park the yacht outside, and they have you have a nice dock. And everyone goes in the yacht, and that's where I do my parties and my table reads. I'm gonna be doing a lot of parties in my yacht. Hence why I'm gonna make sure me and VJ get a nice yacht for ourselves. A nice like 35, 40 million dollar nice yacht for ourselves. I can fit a good 25, 30 people, that's enough. Me and VJ get a nice yacht for ourselves. A nice yacht with a, with a nice inside. And we have an inside and we have the outside. So sometimes when I do the table reads, I'll do the table reads outside in the deck of the yacht. And sometimes I'll do it inside the yacht. Inside the yacht, inside the yacht, yacht. I'll have couches, people can sit down, we do the table reads in the yacht, and we hire someone to drive. I'll make sure there's nice air conditioning in there. 
Now, in the summertime, when it's hot, you can put the air conditioning on, on the table reads. Yeah. Actors are getting spoiled. Yeah, man. That's why what? You're looking at something fucking crazy. Yeah, man. Show my kind of here.